After the Hungarian Grand Prix, Fernando Alonso broke the internet by announcing that he'll be joining Aston Martin in a move that no one had expected. This led to Alonso's boss questioning his integrity, followed by events that only added this fuel to the fire. In this video, we'll be looking at why Alonso made this decision, what caused his boss to say those remarks, and much more. So let's get right into it. First, let's look at when all of this started. After the summer break of what was probably a once-in-a-century championship, we got our expected silly season. What's a silly season? No, it isn't a comedy TV show. A silly season is like a transfer window for the next championship and usually starts at the end of summer. Everyone is curious to know which racer will join which team and whether anyone new will be joining the grid. This year's silly season kicked off before the Hungarian Grand Prix when the four-time champion Sebastian Vettel announced that he'll be retiring from the sport. The Germans' last team was Aston Martin, which meant that they now had an opening and naturally, people started wondering who'd get the job. Well, we didn't have to wait too long as shortly after Vettel's announcement, Fernando Alonso revealed in a press conference that he'd be joining the British team. He was apparently in contract with Aston Martin long before Vettel retired and Vettel's big news only sped negotiations up. Next up, let's look at how the Alpine boss reacted. After hearing Alonso's news, the team principal of Alpine, Otmar Safnauer, became furious with the two-time world champion. Otmar had heard the rumors of Alonso being linked with Aston Martin, but like us, he only thought of them as rumors. Instead, he was confident that he'd get the Spaniard to stay for another year as Alonso was offered a contract for 2023 and he also had the choice to extend it for another year. Otmar also revealed that he asked Alonso about the rumors, to which the racer replied that he hadn't signed anything. Well, that isn't all that reassuring, and it probably made Otmar suspicious, right? Nope. The team principal, like the rest of us, only found out about the internet breaking news at the press conference. He was completely shocked and even felt betrayed, making him question Alonso's integrity and character. In an interview with El Confidencial, Otmar said that he considered himself a man of integrity and that if he was ever committed to something, he made sure that he fulfilled his commitment. He then said that this was his way of life, and he now knew that not everyone is like him. Seems a bit full of himself, no? This obviously is referring to the deal that Alpine had offered Alonso and how he didn't mention that he was negotiating a contract. Yeah, it looks like Otmar really took the news to heart. Moving on, why did Alonso leave for Aston Martin? Fernando Alonso is one of the greatest to grace the F1. He's won two championships and has 98 podiums. With Alpine, however, the 41-year-old didn't get the success he was hoping for, and to him, it doesn't seem likely that this will change. So, is that the reason he chose to join Aston Martin? Unlikely, because Alpine has the advantage when it comes to their vehicles, and they also had a better season than the British team. Then why go there? Well, the reason might be the contract that Alpine offers offered him. Alonso loves the sport and sees himself racing for quite a few years. However, the contract that was offered by Alpine didn't help the optimistic racer in his vision as it was only a two-year deal, but they did offer to pay him more than what he was currently getting. Aston Martin, on the other hand, offered a deal that was better in both ways. The contract was reportedly offering the Spaniard $20 million per year and he was also getting his wish for more racing years as Aston Martin offered him to be their driver for three years. It seems as if the contract was tailor-made for Alonso and kind of makes it pretty obvious why he accepted the terms. If only we could all have our wishes offered to us by Aston Martin. Okay, maybe just one of their cars. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, who's going to replace Alonso at Alpine? This entire fiasco started when there was an empty seat for the British team, and since Fernando has left Alpine, another spot is up for grabs. Alpine will already have a new driver for the 2023 season, as it was announced earlier that Esteban Ocon will be joining the team. But who will be his partner? Well, Otmar Schaffnauer announced that their second driver will be the talented American kid, Oscar Piastri. However, However, Oscar actually later denied the news and, well, made things a bit more difficult for the French team, as if they needed this, but we'll get into this later. For now, the question still stands of who's going to fill in Alonso's boots. The current McLaren star, Daniel Ricciardo, is most likely going to get the role, given that Otmar doesn't manage to keep Oscar. If the deal goes ahead, the Australian will be making a return to Renault-powered cars. But as of now, the Alpine boss refused to give any hint about Ricciardo, and we're not sure if that's a good sign for the Aussie or not. Now, the second likely candidate is Pierre. Gasly. Gasly used to race for Red Bull till 2019 and has since then continued to perform, making him pretty desirable for Alpine. But he's probably not going to get the move because he recently signed an extension with AlphaTauri, and there was no mention of a release clause in it. So yeah, chances aren't looking good for him. Sadly, things just keep getting worse for Alpine. Next up, what's the deal with Piastri? Oscar Piastri is one of the most anticipated rookies, and for Otmar, he's the ideal replacement for the two-time world champion. The American racer has won both the F3 and F2, making him arguably arguably the best rookie yet and the answer to Alpine's problems. Well, not yet, because when Otmar announced him as Alonso's replacement, Piastri denied it, so at the moment, he's causing problems for the team instead of solving them. The reason why he doesn't want to race for Alpine is that he's looking forward to a move to McLaren, and 
if you could connect the dots, you'll have found out that he'll be replacing Daniel Ricciardo. Otmar, however, isn't just going to let another one of his racers walk away. Piastri is currently under a binding contract with the French team, and his boss plans to use this to keep Oscar at bay. So, still there hasn't been any official, well, proper official confirmation, because the first one was casually denied, leaving us fans to speculate and only guess at what will happen. Other news. First up, Bottas reveals that 2022 is his favorite season so far. In 2021, the Finnish driver left Mercedes and joined Alfa Romeo, and has been enjoying life since then. Bottas was seen to have a more relaxed figure off the track, wearing bucket hats and even skinny dipping in remote areas in the US. This is probably because he no longer has the pressure of being the racer of one of the best teams in the F1. But this doesn't mean he hasn't been performing. No one knew what to expect from Alfa Romeo, but Bottas showed them that their cars had the pace as they finished six of the first seven races with points. Bottas also said that he's been enjoying the new and bigger competition because before, the only competition for Mercedes was Red Bull. It's good to see that at least someone's 2022 season is going well. Don't worry, Otmar, things will change. At least we hope they will. Next up, let's look at how Hamilton is spending his summer break. The seven-time world champion has been spending his summer break in Kenya. Lewis Hamilton spent a week in the country during which he witnessed the great wildebeest migration, which is like the largest animal migration of the year, with over two million animals. Apart from that, he posted a picture with a goat on Twitter. Yep, a goat holding another goat, which he met during his time at the Maasai Mara Reserve. He revisited Rwanda, where he saw a bunch of gorillas. Well, he's always been a man of nature, so it's great to see him enjoying his type of holiday. Lastly, Alex Albon reveals what Max Verstappen looks for in a car. The former teammate of the current world champion said in an interview that Max wants a car that is extremely sharp around the corners. That's no surprise if you're a fan of the sport, as Max is known for aggressively lunging in at corners, which has led to him being in many accidents as well. So, what you want isn't probably the best for you, but then again, he did end up with the championship. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Fernando made the right choice? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.